Good day, everybody. This is Yankee Sister Homestead, Zone 6A, Connecticut, and I am officially entering in the hashtag cabbage. I'm sorry, the hashtag collards and cabbage challenge given and sponsored by Back to Our Roots Homestead, uh, the New Orleans Gardener, and Growing Out the Pox. I was going to plant these brassicas anyway I'm, um, for the holidays. And that's actually how I started gardening. I started to plant things that I knew that I wanted for my holiday meals. So I was doing it anyway. I said, why not go ahead and enter the challenge and I said, if nothing else, we will all come out with beautiful, beautiful brassicas for the holidays. And we'll learn something plus grow in the community. So here goes. I'm going to make a choice between the ones that I feel are the strongest. So we're going to get to planting. Okay, I have picked the seedlings that I want to plant. These are collard and our cabbage starts. I'm also, while I'm planting these, I'm planting some more. Um, these won't be backups, but they'll be for my family. Quite a few seedlings left over as a backup in case something happens to these um, seedlings. And I want to just show you that when you're choosing a good seedling, you want to make sure that first it looks nice and healthy and green. Nice and green and not pale yellow to let you know that there's a deficiency already before you get ready to plant it. So this has already gone through its true leaf stage, stage and you could see right here where I've pinched off um, some of the true leaves. Excuse my glove. And this is my entry for my collards. And you can even see new shoots getting ready to emerge right there. Okay, next step would be labeling. Labels are now made, but I basically know what these plants look like. And I'm not planting a very large fall garden. Before I remove the plant, I like to squeeze the sides a little bit just to loosen it up. Then I'll hand dig a hole.
Here's a look of, at my super juice bucket. It's not the most pleasant and pleasing, but the plants just love it. And I put this little screen in here. This is just a painter screen that you could buy at any of the big box stores that they use for, for screening paint. And whenever I get to use it, I just pull this back or I'll pull it out. And all the goodness is right there. So again, as you can see, there's some scraps from my garden and I just keep having it, um, I just keep adding to it. And when I'm ready to use it, I dilute it with water. Again, this is Yankee Sister Homestead, and thank you so much for watching my entry into the hashtag Collards and Cabbage 2024 Challenge. Good luck, everybody.